I've developed a bit of a fascination with these layered 2D turned into 3D paintings. Now, I started off with this piece. It's, re it's really quite challenging and time consuming. It took a full week to do this, which is why my mind was blown and I was super stoked when I made this last week of myself as Jim in Treasure Planet. I wanted a little bit more depth and I thought I could just put some blank sheets of acrylic and it would create more forced depth. But with each sheet of acrylic, it adds slightly more opacity, meaning the light has to work more to get through and this back layer becomes darker and darker. Enter the light box. Let's start with the full artwork behind. Okay, that's that actually works really well. So that's without and then with. As you can see, it actually lifts the white of the paper at the very back. You can see all those shadows cast in the back there actually disappear. All right, let me show you my plan. I have a giant light box. It does have this black border that I don't want to be visible as well as those rulers, that's fine. I've got, I've got a multi-layered plan here. I'm going to build a box that is going to entirely house the light box, which will sit at the bottom slash back. Then I'm going to make another box that will be just inside the size of the light box itself. This will be with white acrylic. That will enable the light to bounce around repeatedly inside the box inside the box. Meaning it'll be like you turn on the light and the whole thing will just glow. Now this white acrylic thing, I'm going to have to laser cut some notched sort of combed or toothed like insert at the top and bottom, which will enable me to slot insert acrylic down into these layers as far apart or close as I want. It should look like a portal into an endless dimension. That's what I want to do. So I got stuck into making the box and I gotta say, I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but the concept is too cool to not put everything I have into this to see if it does. Starting off, I used a free online box builder to get some laser cutting templates that I threw in the laser cutter and I cut the exterior box out of laser ply. And with the exterior box all glued and clamped, it was then time to move on to the interior box, the opaque white acrylic that would reflect all of the light within my contraption. I glued my white acrylic sheets with epoxy adhesive and I'd laser cut these little notches that I'd measured to be able to slot in the sheets of clear acrylic so that I could create the depth in the piece, in theory. <laughs> Okay, this is really cool and it's working and it's what I wanted to make and I made it and it worked. Oh my God. Wait, now we gotta test it, you ready? This isn't super clear because I haven't peeled off the protective covering. I'm saving that till later. Now we put the top of our box on and then it's backlit. Oh my God, that is so good. It just, to you, it just looks like a white abyss which is kind of perfect. That's exactly what I wanted because it's seamless. The light is bouncing around. You can't see the edges of the back corner. I, I mean, I can't looking at the reference monitor. I'm a very happy boy. Oh, now all I have to do is make an artwork that justifies this giant contraption. With a working proof of concept, I am so excited. And I jumped into it by prepping because you gotta dabble before you dive, people. Words I live by. And in this case, I used A4 sheets of just clear plastic, which I scribbled on with my alcohol markers to basically very, very roughly scribble and sketch the idea I had for my multiverse portal. I want to do this because in all those promo images of Doctor Strange, where you have those worlds collapsing in on themselves, it just feels so epic. It's just cool. And I'm taking this as an opportunity to stretch my abilities and my two dimensional 3D art experiments as far as I possibly can, not to mention my art supplies. Because I'm sticking to the same method that I used in my last 3D, 2D experiment. Using only alcohol markers, paper, colored pencils, fine liners, and sketching pencils. All the art materials in my pro artist collection, which is only available for a couple more days. I have to say doing the final artwork as opposed to the really rushed scribbly sketch artwork really wasn't that different or much harder. I just took more time and it was a larger scale. But the reality is these alcohol markers go down 
worked astonishingly well on clear acrylic. They're not made for that, but that's the beauty of alcohol markers. They really do go on so many surfaces and they don't get damaged or removed unless you use alcohol, in which case they're quite easy to reactivate and rework, which means that with a piece like this, I can come back to previous layers that I've done and make changes if I want to, or even get rid of whole sections if something's not working. Honestly, it's kind of absurd how well this all is working. <laughs> Okay, bit of a vloggy update for you. It is 10.30 p.m. I'm working late because I wanna make this awesome piece and I only have one day to make it. Like making the box as good as it is did take two thirds of the day and then doing my draft and getting everything set up. Obviously that's pretty much the day gone. So I go into the evening so that the video can get edited by tomorrow. And while I've done about a third of the, the layers and I'm really stoked with how things are looking so far, I think it's gonna come together really quickly. I haven't had a chance to see what it looks like in context. And I think before I go any further, I need to see what it looks like in context. All right, this is the first official test, you ready? <laughs> okay, all right. Now look, it's it's hard to see the effect without more layers, but if I get close enough and sort of move, you can see the 3D-ness starting. So that's really what I wanna see. In fact, if I sort of go over here and then pan across, you can see how that's starting to really come out at us. And this is how far out we are. We're about a quarter of the way of how deep this is gonna get. I really think this is gonna be really three dimensional. That is a great start. A couple of things I'm learning straight away, which is really, really helpful. First of all, it's working, which is awesome. But second, the element of control of depth is really where this is gonna be absolutely staggeringly cool. Just for the sake of this experiment, I could create greater depth between them to show off the 3D effect. Let's move this one much closer to the front. And this one right in the middle. And now the effect you'll find is somewhat more noticeable. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh my God. Now when that's loads of different layers and a lot of stuff happening, this is absolutely gonna pull you in. At the moment it's backlit, but if I front light it as well, then we get a much more balanced look. Backlit front lid as well. Oh my God. Okay. So with these things in combination, I am very, very optimistic that this is going to be one of the coolest things I've ever made. As I worked in the layers of creating this portal feeling, this, this vortex of time and light and space, I also started creating the three dimensional masses that would be pulled in from different directions towards the center, making sure that they would be scattered through the various layers to add more of the sense of depth throughout the piece. Now that I had proof that this was going to work, I was more motivated than ever to make this incredible. I am so proud of how this is turning out and this to me feels like a really fitting way to give the JPAC one last hurrah as a celebration for what we've been able to pull off together. There's only one thing missing, and that is to put in the hero of the piece, our little uh, Doctor Strange. And while Doctor Strange is the hero of this piece, the hero of this whole video is the JPAC. Jazz's Pro Artist Collection, my illustrator series, is available for a couple more days. It is the best collection of pro art supplies you will ever find for the price that they're available and they're not gonna be available for much longer. So go check it out, links in the description. I have poured my heart and soul into making this the best box available. If you're impressed with how this is all coming together, as well as some of the other artworks I've fallen in love with that I've created over the last few weeks, make sure to get yourself a JPAC while you can because it's only available for a day or two more. And I know you're going to love it if you get it. And I want to thank you for everyone who has supported this endeavor so far. It is time to put this piece together. It's nearly two in the morning, but I'm in it for the long haul to make this the coolest send off for the JPAC ever and the coolest multiverse piece that I can possibly pull off. Let's go.
journey. I was up till 3.30 in the morning, came in to finish it off. It's right there. I'm not looking yet because the anticipation is killing me, but I put in all the final slides and I'm gonna experience that with you for the first time together. I've really enjoyed all the different videos we've been able to put together to show you how far you can stretch some really curated and professional art materials. Like I've shown in many videos in a variety of different mediums, but this one is definitely the one that I've stretched them to the wildest extent. What better way? to push him to the edge, then take him through the multiverse. This was my sketch. This is what it started off as. Just sort of nervous and very excited. Let's check out the final piece. In we come. Oh my God, even just looking in the monitor there, that looks pretty cool, but I have a feeling it's gonna be even cooler when I do this. Whoa! It's so much cooler with those extra depth, like the three dimension, but adding those layers and the back light, and then with the extra front line and the... <sighs> this was worth doing. I'm so glad we did this. I'm, my body is not, I'm very tired. I'm gonna go have a restful weekend. But I hope you have enjoyed how far we've been able to take our art in this video. Simple materials, simple concept, killer execution. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh my God, I love this so much. <sighs> that is sick.